for those who have the heart. Contemporary artist Eva Obodo is the next artist from the new Insuka School series showcasing his works of art at the Co Gallery in Lagos. Creating relief paintings and freestanding sculptures from a wrapping, tying and bundling process, that's what contemporary artist Eva Obodo brings to the Co Gallery to reveal the dexterity in the Nsuka Art School. Nsuka is uh, quite notable for exploratory art in which you use your materials in different ways to uh, reference what happens in the society. So the, we use materials as metaphor to show things that happen in the society to um, express most of the things that you see around you, that you feel around you that you witness around you. So um, the exhibition we are having today is part of the new Unsuka School, an exhibition organized by Co Gallery in which three artists uh, uh, are showing. The first one has finished showing. I am the second one. The third one after me will come and uh, show his own work. The theme of my exhibition is Eva Obodo, recent works. There are works done within the last one year, from between 2020 and 2021. Using fiber and charcoal as conceptual media, he adds them to other discarded objects to create visual narratives that evoke the complex social, political, and economic structures which frame contemporary culture. I work with uh, discards and wastes, uh, of course, from Telos being, and I use these to reference what happens in uh, my society. And um, you can see I have used the chakura, I have used the um, clothes, I have used the juice, different materials, most of which we are picked from waste and dust beans. So I have been able to use them to you know, discuss the current uh, situations in Nigeria as it affects Nigerians. I like using charcoal because charcoal is unique in its own nature. You see, when you look at charcoal, there are so many things charcoal can be used to, you know, address. For instance, charcoal is a, a kind of a, a material that has a relationship with ash and it has a relationship on the other side with wood when it is burnt. It gets to the state where I use it. And if you burn it, you know, much more, it gets to ashes. And ashes has its own meaning. When you look at ashes, you discover that you can use it to reference when somebody is um, a, a kind of repentance. When somebody repents, you, you put ashes on your head. And uh, when something has burned down, as an inferno, you still use ash to reference it, and so many other things that one can use ash to reference. So likewise, charcoal, which is a source of fuel, in which you can use to burn, to cook, to do some other things. So there are so many things charcoal can, you know, uh, be used to reference in our society today. His charcoal images explore issues related to how Nigeria's natural resources are used for the people, while his fiber works utilize nylon threads tied, rolled, and wrapped to produce vibrant visual metaphors. Clothes can be used in different ways. You use clothes to cover our nakedness. We use clothes 
as a symbol when somebody is rich, there is a kind of way you sow your clothes and we are many people we know that so is a kind of so many stories clothes can you know carry as a material are there. So I use clothes when it is suitable for me to use it to say one thing or the other as it relates to the society. It takes a lot of time to complete any work. The processes involved are enormous, ranging from tying. And each time you are tying any particular thing, it takes time because you need to tie them properly and convey the message you want to convey. And uh, it also requires wrapping. It requires patience for you to accomplish one work, you discover that it may take you no less than a month, two months, three months, depending on which particular work you are doing. Together, the works of art look at how connected we are as individuals, weaving through economic, political and societal realities. You know in Nigeria today there are so many things on the news. You talk about health men, you talk about kidnapping, you talk about NSAS, you talk about so many issues as it affects Nigerians. These are all represented in this show in different ways and in different forms. Most of these things are inspired by what happens around us in the society today where we live. Some of these things are a kind of a portrayal of our experiences, not just mine, but the experiences of many Nigerians who have been subjected to one hardship or the other, or one kind of experiences or the other. So as it affects me, so it affects other people. And if you look around, you discover that when you go through some of these walks, looking at their titles, you feel part of the things I felt when I was doing them. Ivar Bodo is sharing his knowledge with the next generation as this professor teaches sculpture and art education at the University of Nigeria and Suka, Enugu State. So we have one more artist to go as we follow up on that series taking place at Co Gallery. But for what to look forward to next time, take a look. Coming up on the next episode. We see the works of art you sent in and so much more. Your art house experience doesn't have to end when the show is not on television. Interact with us on our various social media platforms. See any edition of Art House on our website or YouTube page. Join our very interactive Facebook page by joining the group on Art House on Channels. We're everywhere. That's At House today. We appreciate you for spending time with us and look forward to seeing you next time as well. But always remember, you can see this and other episodes on our various social media platforms. <laughs>